<sighs> you know what my favorite part about videos like this is? Only I know if I'm wearing pants. I'm not much of a sports fan. So then you're probably asking me, well, Rob, why the, uh, the LSU shirt? Why not go Bama or anything like that? Because there's better stories to that than just sports. These are colleges. People learn there. So what happened, and I want to give a shout-out to my friend Brandon. And hopefully you're watching this. He had me speak to a group of students at good old LSU when I was down in Louisiana two weeks ago. That was one of the coolest experiences of my life. First of all, because I don't have a formal education, I'm speaking to students who have more college, de not degrees, but more college credits than I do. And, you know, you can understand why. I mean, it makes sense, but it's still very humbling to say that these people are willing to listen to me for advice on, um, or not necessarily advice, but at least just uh, waste two hours of their life listening to me talk. And I talked a good story. I talked about The Bachelorette. I talked about Lamborghinis, but I talked about business. Now, at the end of the whole time, you know what happens. You're done presenting. You're done with the questions and answers. And the moment you get in the car to go home, you're like, fuck, I thought of something really cool I wanted to tell everybody. It was my best story, and I forgot it. Well, I happened to mention it briefly, but I wanted to go into more detail. It's the same thing that I've mentioned in past videos, subtly. It's compounding. Multiplication. Now, if you're probably saying, well, Rob, yeah, that's a simple concept. Hell yeah, it's a simple concept, but none of us do it enough. Even I forget to do it all the time. It's not some sort of multi-level marketing. It's not some sort of, you know, religious, culty thing. It's just a simple way of looking at your life. We live life one day at a time. You go to sleep each day is an additional day. Additional. You go to work. You punch in a clock or you go have a salary job. You're paid for an additional amount of time. You work an hour, you get paid an hour. You break your leg and can't work the next day, no more money. The problem is that's like middle class. That's what middle class is. You're working for the man and you're stuck getting paid hourly. How does that cycle end? You're, it's this frustrating process. I worked for myself for the last 10 years, but don't think I didn't feel that either because if there's, still, if there's not money there in your own business, you're still rationing. You're still stuck. So what I wanted to talk about is instead of thinking like that, think bigger without even having to do that much more. That's the crazy part. All of us, I don't care who you are watching this, myself included, we all want to win the lottery of some sort. We all want to believe that we're that one that's going to get that chance. Most of us aren't gamblers. Most of you guys watching this don't gamble. You're smart enough. But still in the back of the mind, you're kind of like the Truman Show. You're the person that's the most important center of the world, even if you're not selfish. There's a problem with that. You believe that one big thing is going to happen, that maybe you'll make an app and sell it out, or maybe you'll get bought out by Google, or maybe you'll win the Nobel Prize. There's always that one big thing. I have one of those that I want to win or be, or have, the Lamborghini was one of those as well. Nothing wrong with that part. But the problem is movies and, and stories. It's easy to tell stories that sound so romantic. You know, rom they romanticize business. It makes it sound like one big thing. The type of people that do one big thing are the type of people that bust their ass today. They're going to knock it out right now and get done. Problem? You burn yourself out. You only can do that much and then you're done. Say you do sell something. Say you make an app and you sell it. What then? First of all, you're going to blow through that money on probably strippers and cocaine. But second of all, where's your life purpose? You're done. You got it done. What next? You're going to be miserable. There's a problem with that mentality. That's the addition mentality. Multiplication. Compounding. Let's look at that. For example, I'll tell you two big ones, two big examples in my life. One, I own a business. What happens, you hire an employee, the employee is paid, no, there's addition, they're paid hourly. You add an employee, there's, that's addition. Okay, Rob, this example sucks. But here's the magic. That employee has now doubled, multiplied the amount of hours you can bill. If you're a service type provider like myself, or majority of small businesses are service-based, which is time-based, you bill for your time. But you doubled that now. You have a, you multiplied your ability. Okay, I see where this is going. You have an employee, double your amount of hours billed. Yeah, you don't make as much per hour because you have to pay your employee to do that, but you still walked away with more. Second example, 
I own a business, or duh, I own a building that my business rents from. But I, le- I leased out part of that building to another business, Happy's Pizza, excellent company to work with. What happens though? I'm paying for this building monthly, they're paying to be in some of that space. Mean the number of hours I'm there doesn't relate to how much they pay. It's not an hourly thing. It's well monthly, but it's still not. It's not time based. It's not my time based. I can spend a little bit of time on it, and away you go. That's compounding. That's multiplying because I did work. A, I did a little bit of work, and I've got this compounding constant situation occurring. I kind of like start winding it up and set it to go. That's multiplying your time. So you're probably saying, well, Rob, I'm in college or I'm in high school or I'm, I'm just, I'm stuck. I can't do that sort of level of stuff. It, and you're right. It's not easy. It's very frustrating. You're stuck in middle, uh, middle wage, middle life. Ugh, you're working for the man. It sucks. I get that. Here's the same exact process. You work hourly. You get paid hourly. You work, you get paid. What happens if you add more friends to your life, add more acquaintances, add more skills. Well, okay, you can add more, you know, you can request more money for your wage. You can add to your wage. Well, Rob, that didn't really help me. Yeah, but if you make more per hour and you multiply that by the number of hours you work, you've just multiplied your success. You're sitting there with more. You, you went to school once, technically, and you've now multiplied, you use that over and over again. You make a video once, and multiple people watch it. It's this multiplication of your time that's so important. And that's one of the tricks to making easy money. And I'm not talking about shitty, like I said, multi-level marketing, God, that pisses me off. There's not easy money, but there's easier ways to make honest livings. And it's all percentages and that sort of stuff. And most of us are the Rambo, we wanna go in, throw the Hail Mary, make, you, you have this romantic idea, get that shit out of your head, because that's not true. Maybe, for that small percentage of people, but they hate their lives anyway because they blew all that money. What you need to do, what I need to do, because I'm talking to myself in this video, because I forget to do this shit myself, is multiply your time. Don't just live for today. You're gonna be alive tomorrow. We all are, I'm sorry. And if I'm wrong, you won't be alive to prove me wrong. (laughs) So it's a win-win situation. But just multiply your time. Think of any way that you can do that. Don't add or don't subtract, even worse multiply.